I'm going to be speaking about the importance of ecosystem research. And you know, that's a passion of mine. And that's because without really good ecosystem research, you can't get those million dollar ideas for innovation. And so it's so important that the research is done right. So what is that research all about? Well, as you can see, here I am. I'm here standing in this beautiful hotel or inn called the Seven Roses Inn in Fairfield, Iowa. I want to study all about small hotels, bed and breakfast places, etc. What better way than to blend in, to be like a guest? So if I come in, okay, I'm studying this, I'm an HFI ecosystem researcher and innovation person, do you think anybody is going to be natural and behave the way they would behave otherwise? Of course not. So I come in here, the hosts know that I'm observing and I'm not going to violate any you know, ethical or privacy related issues, but I'm trying to understand the culture of people who use a facility like this. So I blend in, I could be a tourist. I look and feel and act the role. I believe in the role that I am a tourist who's come in and I'm trying to understand what I feel like staying here. And at the same time, I'm observing everybody else. What are they, what are they speaking of at the breakfast table? How do they behave? What do they share? Do they feel happy about things that they do in this facility, etc.? But while doing that, remember, it's very important to not lose those key pieces of information. Because once I'm done one day's observation, I may forget so many of those things. So you've got to be armed with the right set of tools, which today are becoming more and more technology enabled, but they don't have to be. But for example, if at a certain moment in the day, I want to take a round of this facility, get, capture what the feeling and atmosphere is like here. I need something that will help me do that. So here I have a camera all ready to go. It's trapped. I can click it and I can record. And it's unobtrusive enough and it also gives me freedom. At the same time, when I'm sitting around listening to conversations around me, I want to jot something down. Well, I don't need to really video record, but I want to just write an audio record something so I don't forget. Here's the Livescribe pen and my Livescribe notebook, which I always carry in my bag, no matter where I go, whether I'm sitting at a cafe, whether I'm here, everywhere, this is my companion as, a, as an ecosystem researcher. So I can jot this down and that means it's, it's digitally recorded and I can retrieve any part of it anytime I want. Apart from that, I'm always coordinating with the rest of my research team because we are spread out doing our observation, our ethnography. How do we communicate without me always having to take out my cell phone and look at it and break the flow of the blending in that I need to do as a researcher? Well, I have my smartwatch here, the smartwatch, you know, which allows me to sync my phone to it. And so I can see the messages my research team is sending me or if I need to send any message to them, then I know what I what I you know what I've got to respond to without having to take my cell phone around and open it and read it, etc. There are many such ways. The important thing is you've got to find your right set of tools which allow you to blend in and which allow you to document and record in the best possible way. After you've done all that though, there's another very important part. You could do all the smart observation and recording, etc. But the important thing is how do you take those pieces of information, disentangle the real gems from what is not that important, you know, the signal to noise ratio, remember, and then connect all the dots. It's your ability to connect the dots that will get you the final million dollar innovation idea. And for that, you need to invoke your favorite detective. Because I kid you not, you really are being a detective. You are being someone who's a master at taking observations and then sitting back and connecting all the dots and coming to a picture that solves the jigsaw puzzle, the problem statement. So you've got to, at this point, 
invoke your favorite detective, whether, whether it's Sherlock Holmes or it's uh, Bomkesh Bakshi from India or it's um, Special Agent Gibbs or it's the forensic anthropologist from Bones or my favorite is Hercule Poirot. The man who always lays so much stress on connecting the dots using the little gray cells, mon ami. So I do that at this point. I invoke Hercule Poirot and I slip into that character to connect the dots and come up with the solutions.